Hey everybody, welcome to the next video um, of linuxhint.com. This is the basic Linux training course and today's topic is links. So uh, we are going to discuss, uh, first of all, we are going to discuss what are links, then we are going to discuss uh, hard links and soft links or symbolic links. Uh, then we are going to do a practical example of hard links and soft links and then we're gonna go move forward. So today I'm not using slides. I want you to take out your journal and pen just and just take notes what I'm telling you. I'm not going to dive deeper uh, into this topic uh, because I want you to understand in the best and easiest way possible, okay? So let's start. First of all, what are links? So links are a very handy way to create a shortcut to an original directory. And links are used in many instances. So for example, um, sometimes to create a convenient path to a directory buried deep within the file hierarchy. Uh, they could be used to link libraries and they could also be used to make sure files are in constant locations. Also, you can use them to uh, keep a copy of a single file in multiple locations, okay? So these are four possible usages. So you could say that um, if that is the case, uh, these links are shortcuts, right? In a way, yes, but not exactly. There's more to links than just creating a shortcut to another location. Consider this, a shortcut is simply a pseudo file that points to original location of the file. For instance, create a shortcut on the Windows desktop to a particular folder and when you click that icon, it will automatically open your file manager in the original location. On Linux, when you create a link in, um, when you create a link, you click on that link and it will open the link in the exact location in which it was created. Okay. So there are two types of Linux, uh, sorry, links, excuse me. Uh, hard links and soft links. Soft links are also known as symbolic links. So you could say that what is the difference between hard links and soft links? So the difference between these two, like it, that is like significant. So with hard links, you can only link to files. Remember this because we're going to do the example and I'm going to show you. With the hard links, you can only link to files okay and not directories you cannot reference a file on a different disk and they reference the same inode as the original source okay so a hard link will continue to remain usable even if the original file is removed okay so now soft links on the other hand soft links can link to directories reference a file folder on a different disk or volume so it will exist as a broken unusable link if the original location is deleted remember that in the hard link it was opposite okay so i hope you have got the point so these are like the two uh, differences between that so if you do not understand just play this video over and over again until you understand and take notes okay so working with hard links now that is the fun part it is practical okay so um, now let's open up the terminal and let's create a hard link first okay so the um the syntax to create a hard link is like you're going to type ln and then you're going to type the uh, folder name in which you want to create a file and everything so let's say uh, we create a text file inside the document folder right here so we open it up right now if we list we have nothing there is no file inside now we create a text file let's say uh, we write here this is linux hint.com we save it right in the location uh, documents we save it we give it a name as let's say um file right okay so um it is like saved here 
and now we, if we go to go back to the terminal if we list it now we have one file which is named as file write so remember that what is written inside the file write it is this is linux hint.com okay so now what we are going to do is that we are going to create a link okay so how do we do that we we go back to the terminal and we write here ln because we are in the documents directory make sure that in whichever uh, whichever file you are going to link you are in that directory okay so file right remember that with hard links we can only uh, link files okay and not directories so what we are going to do that we're going to write here ln and then we will write here the file name which is file right and then we are going to uh, write the link name with which we are going to link it so let's write here test link maybe okay or let's say let's call it hard link so now if we list it we can see that we have a shortcut created of file right and now if we would open it up so we would have the same content this is linuxin.com as we have in the file right okay so i hope you have got the point all right so now uh, th that was basically uh, the example of the hard link and now let's say uh, if we want to create a soft link the for the soft link the syntax is a little bit different so what we're gonna do is that let's say uh, we create a soft link to this directory documents right uh, in my case documents if i open it up it has two files uh, so let's say uh, i open up the terminal let me just close it first okay uh, we have created a hard link successfully now we are going to create a soft link so first of all i'm going to list it up here okay we have all these like uh files and folders inside here so now documents is the folder that i'm going to uh create a soft link to okay so the command that we're going to write is ln hyphen s and then the folder name which is documents and then the shortcut name or uh, which or the soft link name that I'm going to uh, create let's name it as soft link okay hit enter and now the soft link has been successfully created so this is the documents folder it has two files and this is the soft link that i have created to this document and if i open it up uh, we have two files inside of it as well okay so i have kept it simple and short and brief i hope you have enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next video